you to take me back So tell me, is you gon' ride out when the chips fall? I seen too many people leave when it get hot I'm tired of going back and forth when we pissed off Most of my friends don't went through it and they stood tall See, they gon' try and tell you what they think is good for you Whole time they was plotting, man, I wish they was for you You gotta watch your back, your front, your side, they disloyal you I gotta watch my crown, cause from birth I've been Alright, what's good, YouTube? This your girl, Nani the Goddess I'm back again with another video Um, I wanna do a energy tap in It's been a lot of crazy energy going on, y'all And I just wanna see what's going on See what important message spirit has for you all Um Again, y'all, when you subscribe, when you like the videos, um, it puts your energy into the channel so that each time the message is seen more and more personal because your energy is attached to it. And so your ancestors, your spirit team can provide more important messages for you all through me. Okay. Um, in a nutshell. Uh-oh. I'm going to set something on fire, y'all. In just a minute. I swear I sweep a thousand times a day, so y'all just got the excuse it, honey. I hope you all are doing well. Anything y'all need to know about me is down below in the description box. Um, so feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to like, right? Hit the like button. Subscribe, hit all so you don't miss anything, right? Share it and comment. Let me know what's going on. If this is your story, if this is someone else. Who you know story you know put it where it goes okay again shout out to everybody who's already rocking with me thank you all for coming in staying returning right y'all know what it is all right shout out again to my tribe um let's see what's going on though spirit what you want me to start with I guess I'll start with some energy. Let's see what the energy hitting for. Let's get it going. Shake up the energy some, right? Shake the room real quick. What fell out? Yep, 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 yep. Broken heart with the man holding the coin. So we're getting ready to send back some energy and all that good stuff. So we can go ahead and get started. Because for a lot of you all, this is exactly what's going on. Flip the roses as need be because for my um, some of my masculines or for some of my feminines, this man holding the corner is really a woman holding the corner for whatever reason, okay? All right. Um, guess I can still hold the day. Spirit, I ask that you all wrap your arms around me and my collective. Protect me as I open myself up as a channel and tap into the energy surrounding my collective. We want to go ahead and send back energy, spirit. Anybody who's sending us high vibrational energy, loving energy, positive energy, nurturing energy. Anything that's high vibrational, spirit, we send it back to them tenfold. Anyone who is sending us low vibrational energy, negative energy, hating, um, talking about us, backstabbing and betraying us, trying to sabotage anything we have going on, trying to stop our money, trying to take our money, um, doing any unwanted spell work. Um, on us, directing any dark magic, dark energy towards us. Um, any of those things that's low vibrational spirit, we send it back to them tenfold. It does not belong to us. That is their energy. We ask that you all block that energy from us and continue to protect us from that energy. It's already done. So, Mode B, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and get it started. All right, let's see what's going on, y'all. Spirit, this is for my collective over here on YouTube. What's going on? My tribe over here. Um, it's a lot of excited things going on, y'all. Stay tuned. Come the first, I will be posting uh, the link to join my Patreon tribe, my manifesting group. We dive deeper into spirituality. We are manifesting together as a group, amongst other things. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you're um, desiring to heal, to protect yourself, um, whether you want to attract in new love or, you know, create more love, open up more love um, in a high vibrational way, right? In the connection you already have with your spouse. Um, just whatever it is you're desiring. Some of you all are wanting to move. Some of you all are wanting to manifest a new car, a new home, a new job. You know, you want to win in a court case. Whatever the case is, come on over, okay? Um, and it's still showing up. Hostilities is here. The number 26 broken down to the number 8. What's going on, Spirit? It came right back out. 
that's what I'm getting. A lot of you all are dealing with a lot of hostilities um, from other people. A lot of y'all are having to check people, but it's because you're ascending. Y'all are walking through this door to spirit to personal healing and happiness. 34 broken down to number seven. So, yeah. And, and I feel like, yeah, and it came right back out. It came right back out. This is what they tell y'all. So some of y'all, this is um, the fact that some of y'all could have been with somebody or dealing with somebody who was the breadwinner. You could be the breadwinner. Um, someone could have walked away to someone who made more money. This could be a boss. This could be a father. This could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Um, this could be you. Put it where it goes. But it's so many people that's dealing with heartbreak. And for some people, it's in regards to their finances. For some people, it's love. Man, holding a heart. Okay, so you're either this masculine energy or um, you're the feminine energy and it's your masculine. Some of y'all, y'all had to walk away from someone and now you're going to, it came right back out towards your person. For some of y'all, this is your masculine um, who is heartbroken. He was more focused on the money or more focused on um, trying to use you for money or what have you, use someone else for money, put it where it goes, okay? And they was very indecisive, okay? Very emotionally um, unavailable, detached. The number eight and 45, which breaks down to nine. Eight, seven, nine, eight, nine. It's a lot of synchronicities here. It's a whole lot of synchronicities here. I feel like one of them may be your divine soulmate. They both could be karmic soulmates. You know what I'm just saying? One of them, though, I feel like is your divine soulmate. And one of them um, was a lesson. Because we have the sacral chakra here. Archangel Ariel, the number 36, broken down to what? The number 9. Some of y'all could be seeing these numbers. The sacral chakra speaks of intimacy and creativity. Okay? And so what I'm getting is somebody... Yeah, I cannot... Somebody they feel is probably because they was replaced. That's the energy I'm getting for a lot of you all. Somebody are they fearing being replaced? What's on my card? This made on the card. Oh, it's made on the card like that. All right. Anyway, um, 24 broken down to the number six with the sun card could be a Leo involved. The number one, y'all are going toward new beginnings. Y'all want more cooperation, more harmony, more joy, more happiness, and whatever this is. So this could be my masculine feeling this way, like I said. Um, Cause this could be y'all emotionally detached now from somebody who took too long to make a decision, who could have broken your heart, um, worrying about the wrong thing, going after somebody who they felt had more money than you all. Um, but overall, you all is their wish fulfillment, their happiness. This is also highlighting the fact a lot of y'all are walking away. Y'all could be walking away from two different masculines, okay? Um, it could have been an entanglement type of situation. Um, again, flip the roses as need be. Eat the meat, spit out the bones, put it where it go. If it's not your story, leave it for somebody else. All my readings are timeless, y'all. Past, present, and future. Some of y'all are already out of this energy. Some of y'all are in the mix of this energy. Some of y'all are going into this energy, okay? But it boiled down to somebody being replaced. Whether this is a job, whether this is a co romantic connection, Somebody is going toward, moving toward karma waters, focused on their happiness and their success. Um, some of y'all could be taking spiritual baths or you need to. Because the thinking woman popped up um, when I cut, when I picked it up, it popped up to the thinking woman. Broken down, 47, broken down to the number 11. Okay? So a lot of y'all are deep in thought about this um, spiritual awakening that you all are going through. Experiencing. Okay? And some of y'all definitely had to walk away from some people. Not just a person, but some people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some hidden truth before I put some terror on it because this is already showing heartbreak, love, you know, hostilities. It's a lot going on. So you and this person could have had a disagreement the last time y'all talked. Y'all could have um, dealt with disagreements or hostilities with others. Okay, when it came down to this person. Point blank, somebody has surrendered this broken heart or being divinely guided to surrender this broken heart. Okay, because a lot of y'all, y'all chose to be abundant. Um, y'all chose to like move toward, like I said, karma waters, moving toward your wish fulfillment. 
This could even be your person. Because like I said, for some of y'all, this is y'all masculine speaking. Or this is what y'all masculine is going through. And it's being revealed. It says I'm becoming a better person. I will wait for a sign from you. So, you know, y'all could have this person on block. Like I said, it could have been pretty, pretty rough the last time y'all talked to each other. But this person is missing you all. And they, you know, they are working on themselves. I feel like whatever transpired, whatever you all may have said to them, um, stuck with them. They may have reacted in a low vibrational way in that initial um, energy. But what I feel like is it, it actually triggered their spiritual awakening because they regret lying to you. So I feel like somebody is sitting back waiting for a sign from you all that they can come in. This person is so attracted to you all. They're so attracted to you all. Okay, the attraction didn't go anywhere. They broke their own heart. We both know I'm not the one for you. I want to tell you how I feel. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. So this could be how you all feel. Y'all could feel like, look, I'm, I'm not, no. Nah. Y'all could feel like this person hasn't changed. Like, I can't be the person for you because of whatever transpired or whatever was said. You know, um, some of you all may feel like, you know, you need closure or excuse me, I already feel it in my throat chakra. Somebody definitely has some things they want to say and need to say to somebody, okay? So maybe y'all didn't stand up for yourself the last time or speak up for yourselves, okay? But I feel like overall, y'all are healing and moving forward and y'all are just like, look, I'm grateful for this spiritual lesson. Period. Spirit said to keep it. It says, I bear myself to work to forget you. So this man is very detached because I feel like he's stuck. In this energy of like either making the fact he made the wrong decision or the fact that he needs to make a decision. It's just, just being near you is intoxicating. Again, for some of y'all, this is two different energies. Finding out the truth crushed me. Yeah, for some of y'all, this is two different energies. Like I said, for some of y'all, y'all have already replaced this person. They said they want to feel that way again. They want to feel that way again. Adjacent possibilities. They trying to come back. We will be together again. I cannot make it up. So let's put a little terror on this thing. Let's see what's going on. Uh, yeah, the Empress is here. This person was not... I feel like this person did not speak to you um, as one should speak to an Empress, honey. I feel like, yeah, and for some of y'all, it was definitely, you know, a third-party situation. Period. And for some y'all, it was just for money. They broke your heart. Focus, like I said, on money. Could have dealt with somebody. Yeah. Instead of being this emperor. But sometimes the emperor can be um, bossy and controlling. So I feel like, you know, whatever they was doing, they was emotionally detached. Or emotionally detached themselves from you all to be able to do what they did. And it's like, not, now y'all have options. Now y'all have an emperor coming in. And for some of y'all, that's a true past. For some of y'all, this is your twin flame. Like I said, and it could be the new person that came in. What did I just say? They betrayed y'all. They were very trifling, very manipulative over the money. Ten of Pentacles. It could have been somebody they was married to, have kids, five. I mean, whatever. They could have just put work in front of y'all. And judgment has been called on this situation. This person is receiving karma. I cannot make it up. They will of fortune. They receiving karma. And they watching y'all receive good luck. And they stuck. Hey man, they stuck. They stuck. They stuck. They stuck. I cannot make it up. They are overburdened. It's too much for them. It's too much. It, it came right back out. It's too much for them knowing how they treated you. And knowing somebody else is either already up. Who's coming in loving you all. Or the fact that y'all are single. And somebody can come in and replace them. Period. Look. And build this home they were supposed to build with y'all. Have this marriage or what have you. This happy family they were supposed to have with y'all. They getting their karma. It's a, they, this is part of their karma. It is a heavy burden. Wherever they're at or whoever they're with. It's a heavy burden. And they want to come forward. And they want to talk about it. They were to tell you about it. Look, they want that equal give and take again. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. It could be a Sagittarius, okay? But it's like they know now that you're an earth angel. This is an earth angel. 
This is somebody who brings balance. That, that equal give and take. Honey, restores. Look. They know what a victory is at. I cannot make it up. This is what they want to come in and do. This is what they want to come in and do. But they stuck in their head. Because they know exactly what they was out there doing. For some of y'all, it could be a female um, fire sign. Or it could be the fact that it's magic. Somebody put magic on them to make them emotionally walk away. And it could be somebody they're married to. Yep. And they got over there. Now they're working by themselves. They feel crazy. They depressed. Five of Cups. So let's keep going. So they want to come in. They want to come in. They want to talk about it. They want to talk about it. They want to bring in balance. They want to see what they can do to work this out. So let's see. Let's get a little more information. What's going on, Spirit? Yeah, they stuck in their head. Now, I don't see the hermit, so they're not consulting with Spirit. I feel like um, for some of you all, this person could still be resisting the messages from Spirit. So y'all could get an unexpected call, text message. Um, or message on Facebook or social media or something. What's that about? A wedding. Look, this situation involves marriage. For some of y'all, they're getting a divorce. Okay, they finally caught a judgment on it. For some of y'all, they could be dealing with a court case. I feel like um, a lot has been revealed in this marriage or this connection that they walked away or pushed you all away for, broke y'all heart for. I feel like a lot has been revealed. Okay, judgment has been called on it. Look, separation. They're getting, they're separating from this person. The time apart from your partner's on the horizon. Release your ex. What did I just say? So they probably coming in to tell y'all, okay, the divorce is final. I walked away from this person. It says the time has come to clear your energy. I walked away from this person. This is also highlighting the fact y'all are in separation and y'all are, you know, focused on releasing your ex. Y'all not, y'all focus on the future, honey. And they feel it and they see it. And for some of y'all, this person is your person, your twin flame. Religious factors and worth waiting for. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This person either got kids with this, with whoever it was or been there for a while or what have you. It was family or something. They had those old belief systems that had them stuck. And now that they're getting in alignment with their assignment, now that you all have walked away and moved on or moving on, healing and stuff, they feel the disconnect. Now they deep in thought. Okay? Now they deep in thought and they're recognizing they're hoping y'all feel like it's worth waiting for because they want to marry you all. You are who they view as marriage material. Look, they want to come in and heal this forgiving and learning. It is a heavy burden to this person. Okay? They said just being near you is intoxicating. For, I'm telling y'all, for a lot of y'all, this is your twin. You heard the, the confirmation, didn't you? As you release it in the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Okay, this person is still attracted to you. What did it say? I am so attracted to you. The attraction didn't go anywhere. This is definitely a twin for some of y'all. So I'm going to have to include that in the title. This is a twin flame, you know, for some of y'all. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. They never stopped being attracted to you all. They never stopped loving you all. And for a lot of you all, they was trying to block it out. A lot of you all, they was trying to resist. Okay, their path. They was using that connection they was in as a crutch because they was able to focus on their money, break hearts or whatever, and that person wasn't going anywhere. They was able um, to do what they wanted to do, I feel like. What did I just say? Playfulness. They was able to run out there and play, and they knew that person wasn't going nowhere because that person was playing themselves. Playing on them more than anything, though. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This person missed how y'all have that connection where y'all are able to, you know, um, laugh and have fun and play with each other. Some of y'all may wrestle with your person, you know, on the on the humble, right? Um, y'all may play the game together. Y'all may cook together. Y'all may, you know, um, get out in the yard and do stuff together. Just whatever. May love to travel. They miss that. They miss that lighthearted energy. They miss it. They miss it. Because they are seeing. It was safe all alone to love y'all. Okay? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All alone. This is a masculine. This is definitely somebody's masculine. It was safe to love y'all all alone. This effort they was being guided to take. Divinely guided to take. They were supposed to take. Because it says great love. Not just good love. Not all right love. Great love is worth taking the steps. You are guided to take. They did not do it. They ran. 
a lot of them may have felt closed in. Some of y'all, this is y'all, y'all felt like y'all was going in circles with this person because they wasn't releasing that karmic cycle. They wasn't allowing it to end. And it, this is also how the fact them staying in that karmic cycle going round and round and round and round and round. And they was making y'all dizzy. They was making y'all batch crazy, okay? Y'all walked away and freed y'all self and now they realize it. It's time to make this effort because it was safe to love this person after all. This person who brings out the inner kid in me. Who makes me feel like a kid again. Make me feel so young at heart. I need to free myself from what's bounding me. What the constraints. Okay. What's holding me from getting to my person. And a lot of them are doing that. I'm going to tell y'all. A lot of y'all masters are doing that. They ain't taking back control of their life. What's in the bottle? Because their chemistry is real. It's undeniable. No one can replace it. Like, they're missing it. They're going crazy. Look, they're going crazy. And this is what a lot of them want to come in and do. Lay on your lap and let you tell them it's all right. I forgive you. We're going to move forward. They want to tell you how they learned the lesson. They released the past, right? Okay, they're healing the past, healing themselves, right? So that they can experience more love with you now because it was safe after all. There's a magnetic attraction here that attraction is all over this reading so let's get um so confessions of the heart this is my confessions of the heart deck again you can find it on my etsy page my etsy shop um y'all and i gotta go in there and fix it i don't know what happened it was a hiccup that happened so some of my um some of my items like wasn't showing up so i need to go over there and check it out but it is over there, y'all, okay? So check it out. Let me know if you have any issues with finding it or with ordering anything or anything like that, okay? Again, all the information is down below. Oh, my gosh. Somebody is in their feelings. It's like they just, when they come to you, they just melt like a puddle. Or you just put this person all in their feelings. Like these cards are just sliding out all over the place. They're, they can't handle this separation. They cannot handle the separation. They really hoping they're going to have another chance with you. Again, Spirit said divine time is at work here. Okay, y'all just be patient. Continue to heal. Do your, do your thing, right? Because there is a reconciliation coming. This person is not, I just heard, I can't stay away from you too long. Even if I do, I always call. You're a special part of my life. And the point of it all is I love you. This person was a follower. And they feel very weak or they was being very weak. Some of y'all could even view this person as weak. Okay? But this is what they want. And on the low, in secret, what they hiding is they want to build together and stay together with you all. They didn't want to go anywhere. Okay? For a lot of them, it was just a stupid... I cannot make it up. It was a stupid, foolish move. I'm very protective over you. Meanwhile, they're very protective over you. Even though they're dealing with a third party or dealt with a third party or allowed these third party interferences from karmic friends and our family and our ex. period. And they want forgiveness. They have learned their lesson. They learned their lesson. Like I said, for a lot of them, you know, they was under dark magic as well, but there's no excuse. Okay. There's no excuse. And now this person want to come in and make you happy. Why? Because they're your secret admirer. For a lot of y'all, this person is watching y'all. Whether it's on social media, whether they ride past the house, not to scare anybody, but definitely be careful. Um, let's get a little tea. Let's see what's going on. Because this is a lot of karmic energy that came out. Yeah, I just see 955 on my timer. This person is wanting to come back in. This person is making changes. Okay? Making changes. Because remember, that's what we were seeing all those nines. I'm looking at nine right now with their heart rate. Y'all surrendered that broken heart. And now they have had to do the same. If this is your twin, y'all are mirroring each other. So they're doing, you had to show this person as that lighthouse how to do so, how to love themselves, how to choose to put themselves first, choose high vibrational connections and relationships and choices. Okay, right now your person is still feeling safer in the shadows because they feel weak. Okay, they know they they was being a follower. It came back out, but it's because they're healing. That temperance there, um, they can highlight the fact that this your person is balancing things out. Um. Like I said, for a lot of y'all, this person is getting divorced or wrapping up this karmic cycle, tying up loose ends. So that when they come forward towards you, 
They don't have this moment over them. This is why, like it says, I'm living a double life. I have a secret family and I have another man or woman. This is my spell that tea deck. Again, you can find it on my um, Etsy shop. Okay. Like I said, for a lot of you all, it was definitely somebody else in the picture. Another family could have been a secret um, baby or something. Whether it was really theirs or being put on them. But this person is wanting to come back and propose to so y'all. cannot make it up. They want to marry y'all. Because they can't get you off their mind. I, it says, I can't get you off my mind. I got you on my mind, baby. That's a song. Shh. I'm secretly a hater. They got to get rid of this karmic. They have to get rid of this karmic. Some of them was jealous or envious at how you moved on. You know, upset at how you was able to move on, move forward. Okay, without them. They felt some type of way. I just seen 808 and followed your abundance. Okay, y'all moved forward and started like getting y'all stuff together. Lip gloss popping. Skin glowing and popping, right? Feeling good, looking good, getting your health straight, everything healing, getting serious about your money, your business. This person was very controlling. But this is why, because they was living a double life. Meanwhile, they sitting here with this other person thinking about y'all. They say, you turn me on, honey. Some of them, they was um, sucking into that. They were seduced, right? Um, their weakness, part of their weakness. Some of y'all, your person has drug um, addictions or sex addictions um, gambling addictions, drinking problems, we put it where it goes, okay? It's some type of addictions there, okay? And they was avoiding accountability and responsibility for their words and actions. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And for a lot of them, they did it for so long, they didn't feel like they felt some type of way when y'all started putting y'all foot down. It came back out. Y'all was getting, I'm telling you, y'all started getting in alignment with y'all assignment because this person was cheating with their ex, being a karmic, dealing with a karmic. Some of them, like I said, got somebody pregnant or somebody was putting a baby on them. Or they could have even played y'all like the child y'all have together ain't theirs. Meanwhile, they're deeply in love with y'all. They just have commitment issues that they had to work out. So right now, for a lot of y'all, your person is alone and in solitude. Some of y'all, this is y'all, okay? But I'm getting that this, this masculine. This is why he's pushing his energy out, okay? It's for his voice to be heard. Yeah. Some of y'all didn't know y'all was pregnant and found out y'all was pregnant. But I'm telling you, it says I'm very insecure. You can't tell. For a lot of them, a um, lot of you all, that's the karmic that they're dealing with and your masculine. Okay? They sat there and attracted somebody or went back to somebody who wasn't going to challenge them and push them. Y'all, you know, wanted the best from this person. Y'all wanted to see them truly happy. Y'all was like calling them on it. Okay, you want to start a business? Let's get it. Okay, you want a you know, new job or you want a better car or whatever, right? You want to be healthy or whatever. Let's get it. Let's do it. And they didn't want to do that because they were just all talk. At the time they was all talk, they had a whole other connection they was given to. They just was, wasn't getting what they was desiring. They was getting it from you all, but they didn't want to let this other connection go because they're controlling. They didn't even want this person, this other person to move on to somebody else. They was emotionally detached from it. For a lot of them, they was only there for the stability or used. They're realizing they was used for their stability. Okay? For some of y'all, they are the karmic earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. For some of y'all, this person is dealing with a karmic air sign. I mean, earth sign, excuse me. Or y'all could have a karmic that's an earth sign too. Because for some of y'all, this could be a baby daddy and an ex. The ex is um, like your twin and your baby daddy is a whole nother, is a karmic. Put it where it go. But this person is dealing with a lot of karma. It says CDV, karmic and divine masculine, divine feminine is fighting karmic is abusive. This is my say what karmic one day. Okay, again, you can find it below. I surely hope this isn't my collective, my tribe. Because if this, if y'all was sitting here, this person was fighting y'all. Y'all, it was time to go anyway. Okay, it was time to go anyway. You can't expect somebody who does things like this to do anything other than what they're showing y'all. We can't expect the truth from liars and faithfulness from cheaters. We can't expect humbleness and, and, and. Um, it just pissed me off so bad. I, I feel like this is what your person is going through in the background with their karmics. Because this person like, okay, I want this person for myself. I want your divine master, divine feminine for myself. Meanwhile, they don't really want this person. They want the stability. They want the money. That was just a money man. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all, this person was detached from y'all are going to come back in and maybe still slightly detached. Because they didn't make a decision or they made the wrong decision. Or some of them are coming back in still indecisive and emotionally unavailable. So use your gift of discernment and your intuition. A lot of them are paying alimony to their karmic during this divorce. Or that's just highlighting the fact their karmic is, like I said, hitting their pockets only for the money. I want this person for myself, but only for the money. 
Um, a lot of them feel like, you know, you was threatening their stability. A lot of them use the kids. Look, I'm lying to the divine, master divine feminine about you. They could be lying to other people about y'all. But I'm getting that this could even be this person saying y'all are lying about being pregnant. The fact they're lying about being pregnant. It's manipulation all the way around. You know, they're getting beat at their own game and they're definitely receiving their karma for it. The point of it is, they could be saying, this. Uh, she's just trying to take you from your kids. She's just trying to this. She's just she make you out to be the gold digger. Make you out to be the karmic. Okay, but this person can't stop watching you. The person they're dealing with has a negative mindset. And to be honest, they do too. They wouldn't even went after it. They wouldn't even went after the person if they if they didn't. So let's pull some more messages. Yep. Eight of cups. Emotionally unavailable. Some of y'all could be a Pisces they're dealing with, but this is in secret. This is a shapeshifter. She's pretending like she's you. Okay, cannot make it up. Look, that's why this temperance is here. It's here again. Okay, it could be a Sagittarius that's doing this. Or it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Pisces. The point of it is, this is somebody who is um, tricking your person emotionally, manipulating this masculine. Or this is what he has realized. The secret has come out. They're following intuition. Their intuition is revealing the truth. You see how one has a champagne glass and the other has a mirror up. Okay, one is mimicking the other. Now, y'all reverse the roles as need be because for some of my masculines, this is a masculine that was trying to trick your feminine into thinking that he's you, right? And you're the karmic, right? With these options. And it's temperance. Somebody is definitely doing dark magic on somebody. They could be putting it in their food. They could be doing um, come to me spells, love spells, sex spells, oblivion spells to make that person forget all this BS they really doing and catching them in so that they'll stay and be stuck. It's so many. I'm not going to keep naming stuff because I don't want to give anybody any ideas. There go the hermit card. It could be a Virgo involved. Not this person is sitting here. And I feel like afterwards or at night, okay, uh, when he's alone, this masculine sits there and thinks about it. Ten of Wands again because it's a heavy burden now that you are single. Now that you are single and you have walked away emotionally from this connection and embodied you the damn empress. You an empress. You want an emperor. You ain't settling for less. Look, King of Cups. He in his feelings. He hit it and now he feel it. He feel it. He feel it. He want justice. He want to come home because he want justice. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or it could be a Libra. It could be, um, again, that justice could be that divorce. He's sick of it. Now he ready to get divorced. But baby, he know where his emperor's at. And honey, you 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 took your power back. You walked away. He ain't got time for that shit. So he is consoled with spirit. Spirit is consoled with him. Because look what I just seen peek out. The eight of swords. This master feels like he, he's in a mental prison or felt like he was for quite some time. Look at that hand. She was shape-shifting. She was the karmic all along. But she was shape-shifting. And for a lot of them, like I said, sex, magic, and all to get him to put his truth down. Walk away from the truth. And go towards her. Y'all, protect yourselves. Masculines, protect yourselves. Seven of Wands, protect yourself. Block it out. And for some of y'all, this is what this masculine is doing. Y'all don't know. In secret, this masculine has blocked out this karmic energy. Okay? And she, that might be why she's fighting and causing all this ruckus and drama. Yeah. Because he wanting to boss up. In secret, y'all masculine should be definitely bossing up. So he can come back forward. Yeah, he want this victory. Six of Wands. He want this victory with y'all. Yep, he want this victory. Some of them caused this tower on purpose. Some of them caused this tower on purpose. Let me get ready to wrap it up. Some of them caused this tower on purpose because they want victory. Some of them they caught, like I said, they caught her with another man, and he was ready to go crazy. Might even did. For some of y'all, this is your master fighting a court case because of it. High priestess, a lot of y'all already know it. Yep, a lot of y'all already know. It. See, this is what this high priestess. Definitely could be a Pisces was hiding. Could be a Capricorn. That they was really the devil. And that they out there doing them. That's bodies. That's energy. Back there. This is a demon. Working with other demons. This is the devil. Okay. The devil wear a product. The devil in the blue dress. Put it where it go. But this person has so many addictions. And secrets. And so much crap. And really didn't want this connection. Really didn't want it. They just wanted your masking away from y'all. Look at that. 
two of swords, wanting him to block it out and be defensive, wanting y'all to be defensive, okay? Because he was keeping the secret. That, that, see these karmics? No. The divine feminine, the divine masculine is not going to stick around, okay? Where they're being um, treated as an option, anything like that, okay? Seven of Cups. Illusions. This was the secret that came out. It was really illusions. And now your masculine is blocking itself. Now your masculine is protecting himself from that. Out here trying to be super saver ho. Like I said, a lot of them was acting like damsel in distresses. Okay? So that they can get them in. They was they felt some type of way to get them in. Okay? Spirit said that's the damn truth. Spirit said everything I said is the truth. I cannot make it up. All these ace of ones and stuff. To get them back in. To put them in their feelings. Look how this masculine is looking away from this karma. A uh, karma. Karmic. He should have walked away. But he wasn't really even wanting to be there. It was the magic. Like I said, for some of y'all, it was being put in his food. Okay? It was for the stability. She was trying to um, attract in the money by getting him to cut you off. Because she knew she was going to cut him off. Some of them was willing to get pregnant. Three of Pentacles. By your person. Point money, they wanted this person to come in and work with them. Spirit said that's the damn truth. And a lot of them use sex magic to do it. And a lot of them did get pregnant. Some of them is pregnant by somebody else and putting it on your person. Look at that. Look at the twin flames in the back. To come between these twin flames. Okay? To purposely cause confusion, deceit, dishonor. Right? Strife, chaos, heartbreak in the twin flame community. In this twin flame union. This person to come between this person and his or her twin to really be in control and this masculine's waking up look how this masculine looks all drunk and just out of it okay they did it on purpose it's to take control look to do what they want to do look at them scissors again look at that look at that sword of truth look at the heart with the y'all oh, y'all think i'm playing and it was too much it became too much eight of wands it was a setup and your masculine is seeing it Okay, come on, Spirit. Let's go ahead and end this, honey. Because I got some appointments and stuff. So let's shake it up. Yeah, that's the secret. See, that's the secret of this high priestess is holding. But this is also highlight. Y'all are very intuitive. A lot of y'all already know it. Excuse me. This is also highlight the fact your person is highly intuitive. And he's tapping into his intuition, his higher self. He waking up to this. And it could have took these towers or this tower. I feel like every time your person thought, yeah. That he could move forward and would have victory with that karmic. He realized it ain't going nowhere and she's giving it to other people. She's receiving from other people. So your, your person uh, to keep you from going anywhere could have been giving y'all gifts or money out of guilt. Trying to keep you around. Four swords. Y'all put that to rest. Now your person is all in their head about it. Because look, four swords, eight of swords. Mental prison, some of them feeling like they stuck. Mental exhaustion, a lot of them are losing sleep, going crazy. Okay, wanting nothing more than to get to y'all. Did there if I cannot make it up if I tried to? Ten of Pentacles, Empress. They see y'all living the luxurious life, you know, happy, looking good, smelling good, getting your pentacles together. Okay, knowing who you are. You have people, you know, buying for your time, of course. Of course. It ain't nothing for somebody, but so be careful. Some of them are coming back for your pentacles, honey. Be careful, Empresses. Um, could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be a Libra or Taurus. Okay. Three of Wands is what they want to do. They want to move forward. Planning for the future. And they want to move forward. Because they know you are that wise investment. Justice could be a Libra involved. Definitely. Okay. They're trying to come in and balance it out. Things are being balanced out. This, you know. Um, some of them, like I said, they are going ahead and getting that divorce. Some of them are dealing with court cases. Child support cases now. It's all part of their karma. It's all part of their karma. Um, let me get some uh, messages from the universe, y'all. I don't know. I want to just leave it like that. <laughs> I don't want to leave it like this, dear. Huh? Um, see, but that's going to keep the message going. Let me get some eight ball messages. What's the six of ones in Tower Spirit? Not now, not ever. This person is, is realizing this this person this karma they left y'all for is not gonna do right for them this is not for you to know so some of y'all can want to know who this person was sleeping with or if this person has changed or coming back because for some of y'all it's the fact that they are going to continue to operate like that spirit said the answer is still no 
So that could be the fact they are in spiritual, um, they're being held back by y'all spirit team and their spirit team until they get themselves together. Okay, asking it shall be yours until they are willing to come in and do the right thing. They cannot come in with that same energy and they definitely need to heal themselves before they come in. For some of y'all, y'all are wondering if they put it to rest. And for some of y'all, the answer is still no, they're still dealing with this person. Because we have work in progress and I feel like that's y'all. That's what y'all working on. Spirit said true. That's what y'all working on. Getting y'all pinnacles together, looking good, smelling good, getting y'all stuff together. A lot of y'all are not focused on your person. You've walked away and you are focused on someone new. Spirit said you are headed in the right direction. Period. Because some of y'all, this is y'all moving forward. Y'all took y'all power back, got y'all finances and stuff back together and balanced back out and all that good stuff, right? Got in tune with you, start playing. Y'all move forward and y'all done met somebody else. Spirit said that's true. So let's get some divine, um, excuse me, some universe has my back messages for you all. This is somebody's master. Somebody's master is going through it because they didn't, they didn't choose right. They didn't choose right. I feel like every time y'all try to have victory with this person, it was always something with somebody else. It was always some type of tower moment and y'all got tired of it. Y'all got tired of it. Y'all put that um, losing sleep or being all in y'all head about it to rest. And realize that this person is a narcissist. This person is toxic and dysfunctional. And they don't want to do right whether they my twin flame or not. Let me push forward. Let me get back in charge of, of myself. Take my power back. Call my magic back. Right? Remind myself who I am and move forward. Because it is nothing for me to have a new love. I choose love no matter what. If you are on a twin flame journey and your person chose to be a karmic, you will receive a replacement for them. If your person chooses to not get it together, what have you, because it's knowing the rule, but it says you have to wait. Whether they get it together or not, y'all still don't have to take the person back, right? Because for a lot of y'all, it was too much. And now that y'all have moved on, now they waking up to it and this and that, this and that. Y'all don't know if this person really changed. That's a lot of work that needs to be done. Some of them really have, okay? I'm going to say maybe three out of every ten can probably take their person back. Okay, still use your gift of discernment and your intuition. It says, I witness the darkness and I call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Like I said, for a lot of y'all, your masculine was going through this dark night of the soul or going through this dark night of the soul, the death of their ego. A lot of them are, or was, or have been resisting their path and their calling, including you all's connection, right? You all's twin flame journey. And a lot of them feel lost right now. A lot of them are completely at rock bottom. But for, unfortunately, for it takes that for a lot of them. Some of them stay there. Everybody's masculine and feminine isn't going to make it. Okay, so flip the rolls. My masculine, this could be your feminine. But it says obstacles are detours in the right direction. Okay, so tribe, know this. Whether you my masculine or my feminist, know that anything that happened is happening for you and not to you, okay? It says, when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. A lot of y'all are co-creating with the universe. A lot of y'all are surrendering, okay? I would love to have you all join us um, on the other side, both in my Facebook uh, group, Consult Not Ether Goddess, as well as my Patreon um, tribe, Spiritual Warrior Tribe, okay? Um, like I said, we're manifesting over there. We're healing. We're, 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 we're getting it done. We're not talking, sitting around talking about it. We talking about it and we're doing it. Okay. So maybe I should say we're not just talking about it. Right. Um, we're doing more action than we're walking and talking. Okay. People like that. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Shift your thoughts. Stay in high vibrations. Okay. Send energy back. Right. Welcome in high vibrational energy and send back low vibrational energy. Okay. Uh-uh. I apologize, y'all. That was my son watching something. Anyway, <laughs> mommy moment, right? But anyway, because what you focus on, so if y'all send out more focusing on this heartbreak or this person being with somebody else or what have you, you're going to feel uh, more um, heartbreak. You're going to feel more guilt or more loneliness, more that, uh, jabs at your self-esteem, anything of that nature. So shift what it is you're focusing on. Understand your energy creates your reality. Everything is energy, baby. And redirect it. Get on those high vibrational frequencies. Okay? It's easier said than done, but take some spiritual baths. Okay? Take some spiritual baths. Go get some yoni steams. My fellas, y'all do that too. Meditate, contemplate. Okay? Journal. It's a lot of things y'all can do. Again, join us. These are the type of things that we're doing. Um... And it's very vital and very important. But I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all are glowing up and taking your power back. And that's why this person is coming in hot. Some of y'all done posted your new boo on social media. They like, oh, heck no. Somebody done seen y'all together. 
um, and went back and told your person or something. But some of y'all, your person just know they was so wrong. They was dead wrong. And they getting their karma, steady getting their karma, got their karma, and now they in solitude, healing, trying to get it together, licking their wounds. Can't get you off their mind for real, nah. And just disgusted with themselves and how they treated y'all. Because y'all didn't deserve that. Y'all were sitting there trying to love this person all along, and they couldn't see it. They couldn't see the forest for the trees. So busy worrying about being in all these other folks' face, chasing the wrong thing. Like I said, because for some of y'all, it was the money or the status or the this or the that. They thought the karmic was better. Turned out they had a karmic from hell. The karmic, these karmics was a devil because for some of y'all it's more than one karmic. Some of y'all this person was because they're not happy. They're not happy. They're scared of commitment, right? All these things. Child, yeah, they ready to come back in and heal it. Nah. All right, y'all. I'm sending y'all love, light, peace, happiness, healing, comfort, um, hugs, all those great high vibrational things. I love y'all. I would love to see y'all on the other side. Stay safe until we meet again. All right. Namaste. I want you to take me back. So tell me, is you going to ride out when the chips fall? I seen too many people leave when it get hot. I'm tired of going back and forth when we pissed off. Most of my friends don't went through it and they stood tall. See, they going to try and tell you what they think is good for you. Whole time they was plotting, man, I wish they was for you. You got to watch your back, your front, your side, they disloyal. I gotta watch my crown, cause from birth I've been